Good morning, Geek Dream Nation. I'm Kane Martin, and I just woke up. Good morning, Geek Dream Nation. I'm Drake the True Snake, and I just woke up. Mm. Morning. Good morning, Geek Dream Nation. Welcome to another episode of I Just Woke Up. Up. Now, it's been an awesome superhero week so far. Thank you guys for all your support, and I hope that you're getting some cool insights into Cake Drain and our superhero tastes. Um, I hope Cake Drain Nation is kind of talking to each other and discussing all things superhero. So, each one of these videos, if you agree with us, disagree, post in the comments. Let us know what your favorite superhero is, your favorite supervillain, and your opinions on today's topic. So on that note, let's go on over to Drake the True Snake to find out what today's topic is. Woo! What's up, Kadri Nation? Good morning! So, continuing with Superhero Week, we're talking about our favorite superhero movies. First one I want to point out, obviously, as you can tell, is the Iron Man series. Yes, the trilogy. The reason I love this series so much is because it shows the evolution of Tony Stark's character. You know, he starts out as kind of a cocky millionaire who makes who makes weapons for and he enjoys it and he makes money off of it, so he's flaunting it. But then he learns what is what's happening with his weapons and he decides to build the ultimate weapon, the Iron Man suit, which also helps save his life. And it kind of shows real life application of a superhero or a super suit weapon kind of thing and that's really cool because it shows like the government side of it it shows all kind of different areas that it impacts Kane what's one of yours this is another tough one um, I guess I'm just gonna throw out the first one it's it's on my shirt here spider-man now the first trilogy of spider-man movies now, some people don't like them they think the new ones are better and that the old ones are kind of cheesy. That's okay, that's your opinion. I enjoyed the originals. Um, I thought that they really showed the character of Peter Parker um, very realistically, and, and that was a good contrast to the kind of ridiculous and fantastical stuff that was happening on the superhero side of it. And I felt like that strong character really just grounded the whole series. It made it a lot of fun. Um, it definitely had that Sam Raimi touch on all the movies, which I think is a good touch. So, the, the Spider-Man movies, um, I like the new ones too, but specifically the Sam Raimi trilogy of Spider-Man movies, I just loved them. Just love them. I get all nostalgic. I can't just watch one either. If I start the first one, I gotta watch all three of them, man. Just like, bam. You know what I'm saying? Nice. So, my second one is one that's a nostalgia bomb, and I'm probably gonna get made fun of for it, but I don't care because I'm a geek. Is the Power Ranger movies? Yes, Power Rangers and Turbo, the Power Rangers movie. Because, and I'll tell you why. One, it kind of shows a transition in the series, but also goes more into the Power Rangers universe, so to say. That they can, you know, it, they go to another planet and what, and they become this, uh, and they get this power to replace their powers because they get taken away by this ancient villain and then there's all kind of craziness and then the second one they get a whole new ranger and there's all new just oh it's awesome but it's also ones I grew I've grown up with I'm a huge again Power Rangers nerd and been a fan forever so that's another reason Kane number two please now my next favorite superhero movie you guys probably saw it coming The Dark Knight now, this is from more of a, you know, not just my opinion, but also a more critical standpoint. I just think that it's probably one of the best superhero movies ever made, for sure. And the reason behind that is, um, not just because it has the Joker in it, um, because the whole trilogy is really awesome, but the second one specifically, I think, just really encapsulates what makes a superhero. What the definition and the true nature of a superhero is, uh, you know, the sacrifice and the selflessness that they they have to show, and the the ridicule that they have to endure, fighting both the people they're trying to protect 
and the uh, the bad guys. So, and just the the awesome moral standards that Batman holds himself to, specifically in those movies, I think is just awesome. Awesome. So my third one, this one I'm gonna wrap up with, is Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2: Secret of the Ooze. Yes, the one with Vanilla Ice. <laughs> But the main reason I love it is because it kind of expands on their story a lot, on the background story, because it goes into the company that made the ooze that they were, that created them as Ninja Turtles, um, that made them mutate. And I thought that was awesome how they um, went into the backstory more and made it a full, uh, like, investigation that they did. Because I think, you know, and of course, Ninja Turtles are awesome. I haven't seen the new one yet, but, you know, who knows when I'll see it. But I've always loved the Ninja Turtles. I've always loved all these series, so that's why. Now, my next favorite superhero movie is got to be The Watchmen. Um, I, I just, whenever I saw it, I, I didn't know what to expect. You know, I, I hadn't read the graphic novel and hadn't really heard about it, so I didn't really know what I was getting into. I was like, huh, oh, more of an adult um, superhero story. But at the same time, um, feels more like a classic superhero story, and I thought it was really cool. The perspective, you know, set in this alternate universe um, in the 1980s, you know, just kind of how society had developed with the existence of superheroes, and I thought that that was a really cool, unique perspective, and um, it was, it wasn't a, a really you know, it wasn't your typical action-packed superhero movie. It was definitely more character and, and drama driven rather than just straight up special effects and action driven. And I thought that that was really cool. And, you know, it showed the, the flawed nature of superheroes and just kind of that, their diverse personalities. And I thought that that was really awesome. It, it's definitely kind of a cynical movie in, in a lot of aspects, but turns out pretty good and uh, it shows you that superheroes aren't perfect that they're people too and that they have issues that they have to deal with just as much if not more so than everybody else so yeah nice so hope you guys have enjoyed this list of movies and superhero movies be back here tomorrow well I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode I hope you've been enjoying superhero week as much as we have we love talking about this stuff and we hope that it is encouraging you guys and getting you guys thinking and talking with each other. And uh, because we love movies here at Cake Train, and that's our focus is movies and, and stories really in general. And so that's what we like to talk about. We hope you guys like to listen to it. Post in the comments any suggestions for maybe a topic for next week. Also remember to post in the comments your favorite superheroes, your favorite supervillains, your favorite superheroes comics, favorite superhero movies, anything having to do with Superhero Week. Tweet us at CakeDrain with hashtag I just woke up, hashtag CakeDrain, hashtag Superhero Week, and because we want to hear y'all guys' input. We love it. So thanks for sticking around, and we'll see you on the next episode. Be excited for that. Alright, peace out. Remember, Bruce! My butler's gone, he went away.